everyone. You are watching Shaw Arts and Entertainment. I am your host, Curtis Anderson, sitting at my desk today because I forgot to do a stand-up last weekend when I was at the Hotel Besboro taking in YTV's Next Star Editions. That's right, they're going across Canada trying to find that next young singer-songwriter, that talented singer-songwriter between the ages of 15 and I think 21. They were in Saskatoon. I was lucky enough to talk to Susie McNeil. She's one of Canada's sweethearts. So here we go. Here's my interview with Susie McNeil. All right, it was an early morning here in Saskatoon. Yes. You're at like 5.30 in the morning. Somehow you managed a warm day in Saskatoon. They're few and far between for the month really? of May. So you got that going for you. Thank you. Have the talented kids come out in Saskatoon this morning? Well, um, I hope they have. The way that this uh, process works is I... Um, the producers of the of the next star go through sort of all the kids like the the big cattle call and then the next day they weed out a bunch of them for the the uh, the next tier okay. so to speak of the of the judges so i don't actually get to see any of the kids until tomorrow wow I like the visual when you said cattle call. But okay, let's not talk about Saskatoon. Let's go back in time and talk about the former stops when you did have an opportunity to meet with the kids. I'm now alongside Aurora. Aurora, how are you doing today? Good. Are you nervous? Not really. Not really? You got this, you got this under lock? Oh, yeah. All right. What are you going to bring to the table today? What are you going to show the judges that maybe they haven't seen before yet here in Saskatoon? Um... Confidence. Nice. Some people seem really nervous. So. I was just talking to one of the judges and I said, What can these kids bring that you need more of? And she said, The main thing is confidence. So there you go. Do you want to play us a little something real quick? Uh, sure. All right. What are we going to hear? Um, I'll play you Didn't Even See This by Paul Brandt. All right. Let's play me a few bars. Okay. Shotgun, everybody getting full of. Long run, don't know where we're going, but the outcome comes with a little bit of trust. Let's go following whatever way the wind blows, flying with our hands out of the window. We didn't even see the dust. The first year that we did this, I was so blown away by the talent. You know, you don't, you think young kids and you don't expect them to be like, you know, we've had some kids who have books and books and, you know, like tons of songs that they've written. Mm -hmm. um, they're sort of a self-realized artist. They know where they're going. They're, they're confident. They're, you know, their voices are very developed. It's, it's incredible. Now, that's, you know, few and far in between. Those are diamond in the roughs and those are what we're looking for here. sick of seeing be um, honest, be the song um the headley song um i do want to love you if i have to hear that song again one more time this year last year it was amazing grace there's Ooh. always that song in the year that we're like oh won't it blow your mind if next year headley covers amazing grace <laughs> Bang. Just putting that out there. Okay, uh, future stops, if uh, people from other cities are watching this, what should they be bringing? What do you want to see more of? Um, well, we always, you know, there's a certain amount of elements that need to come together when you're doing an audition, no matter what age you are. You know, I still do auditions, and, and there's first and foremost confidence we need. Uh -huh. Secondly, um, we need them to be prepared. Um, you would be surprised how many kids come in and aren't prepared. And there's a big difference between a good audition and a bad audition. And other than that, I feel like the, the, their talent will just take them. You know, the confidence and just being themselves is what we need. And if they're right, it's going to shine through. You talked about yourself having, you know, good auditions and bad auditions. Maybe you miss a lot of it by just seeing them when they get to the second tier. But, I mean, is, has it ever been really hard to do your job where maybe someone came in and had a bad audition and you were just like, yeah, sorry. Like, it's hard at any age to hear that. But, you know, you're dealing with young kids. Is that, like, the hardest part? 
Yeah, definitely. The way to sort of say no without breaking their hearts. And I think two things about that. We're very good about it because they are young and we, we're, we're big on um, constructive criticism. Yeah. And there's not really any Simon Cowells in this organization. Though we do try and be honest as well. And, and I had to come to the realization that when you are in this business, no matter what age you are, it's a tough business and you're going to get rejected many more times down the road. So you have to develop that thick skin. And if they're not cut out for it now, you know, unless they find a place for that, they're not going to be cut out for it. Let's finish this by talking about yourself. We weren't allowed to do the interview out with the general population because apparently the kids are going to like maul swarm. you and mug you and swarm <laughs> and try to get pieces of your hair They're and like toenail clippings. They're like grace. Every if, if Hadley sang it, yeah. <laughs> What's going on with you these days? Lots of stuff. Yeah, um, I'm finishing this up. I just released a live acoustic CD. I, uh, I taped it when I was on tour with Colin James in the winter. It was full Canadian tour. So we released that. It's like a different side of me. A little bit more mellow and then now I'm working on my major release and I'm getting songs together for that I'm writing and recording and waiting to release that when it's ready there's my some wicked tattoos I somehow oh. just noticed that that's pretty rock and roll oh thank you how does that translate into the acoustic scene <laughs> Well, it's rock, rock and rock and it's acoustic. It's rock and acoustic, right? <laughs> the girl with the dragon tattoo. It's a movie. 